All right, four ranks, starting with C rank. These are the languages you probably don't want to start out with. Java, C, and C++. Completely overkill out of your league for web dev. There's no reason you need to use these languages in any way. In fact, I'd argue that in your entire career of web dev, you will probably never use these languages at all or even see them or touch them. So don't start with these. Don't use these and don't learn these unless you really, really love Java, C, or C++, or you're trying to go into a different profession. This is for web dev though, so don't start with these. B rank, Ruby, C sharp, and Golang or Go. Probably won't use these languages either in web dev, even though there might be some very hyper niche scenario where you might. I wouldn't start with these, I wouldn't learn these, but you could theoretically touch them and you're like a mid-level developer and you want to branch out, or you're just curious about different kind of workflows. For A rank, TypeScript, Python, Node.js, and PHP. Now I know what you're thinking. Three of these are very usable in web dev. Python, you know, it's basically the language of software engineering for most developers starting out. You're probably wondering, aren't these guys supposed to be in S rank? No, I'm gonna disagree. First of all, TypeScript, as a beginner, you probably don't wanna touch this until you actually have a job or you're like in the process of applying and then you can maybe pick this up just to improve your repertoire. Python, while it's a great language, it's really useful to know, is software engineering primarily. Web dev, you really don't need to know Python. It's not gonna really be that important to know. Node.js is the backend language. I get it. PHP is also the backend language. But when you're trying to get into web dev, you really don't need to know these two languages to get your first job, an internship, or a junior web dev role. Honestly, while these languages are great, you don't need to know them on a high priority. You do need to know them at some point, but getting your first job, not as important. S rank, these are languages you need to know. I think if you don't know these and you're trying to get a job, you're just not going to do well in the long run. First of all, it should be obvious, HTML and CSS, the two pairs of web dev, the foundations, they're basically necessary for all situations. You need to know these languages. I cannot imagine a reality where you don't know these languages and you get hired unless you're literally just working on a block builder. But at that point, you're not doing web dev, you're doing something else. So learn these languages. It's very important. It's a foundation for web dev. You can't get into web dev unless you know these two languages. And on top of that, I think honestly, JavaScript is more important to know as a web developer, because this is the one you're gonna get tested on. Most companies will not be testing you on HTML or CSS, but JavaScript is like used in everything. JavaScript frameworks, modern tooling, everything uses JavaScript. I personally don't like JavaScript that much, but it is so essential to web dev, you need to know this. Number one on the list for a reason. So to recap what you should learn, S rank, I think you should learn all of it. It's hands down essential. A rank, I think you can learn two or three then you're kind of in the process of applying or you have a job at that point, go ahead and learn them. Essential to know, just not immediately. At B rank, get to like mid-level developer, get to a solid point where you're getting paid like a real salary and your real job. And then you can go find those jobs and you can go learn those languages and kind of just explore them and have fun with them. They're a little more niche, but it's fine. And C rank, you're never gonna use them about that realistically unless you go out of your way to try and use them. So unless you really love Java, C or C++, you don't need to know them for web dev. If you guys want to land a job quicker, by the way, I have an online community for new web devs. Consider it more like private mentorship to get hired. If you're interested in that, it's a link in the description. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video.